Chris and this is my Tamiya Hot Shot Teardown video. So we're going to have videos tearing down each one of these. That's a Hot Shot from 85 and the Super Shot from 86. So they remake the polycarbonate body shells. I bought both of them already. We're going to have videos painting them both the correct colors, separate videos. We're just going to kind of give you an idea how I go through these. I am obsessed with these. I'll buy them all anytime. Don't care. So this is supposed to be red. They hand painted it. I don't know. I'll try to sell it on eBay. Not really worth anything to me. So they have the complete instruction manuals online available for both of these cars. So this is the first weird thing about this car. These are resistors and it has a mechanical speed control. So it's 2024. Honestly, I'd rather sell this to somebody. So let's carefully get this stuff off. I think the re-releases have these, but they're just dummy resistors. So I looked it up and they said this costs $150.85. So I'm just taking it apart. When we find something interesting, weird, or worth talking about, we'll talk about it. So this is a little strange. It uses little copper wire to attach the screen for the driver. This isn't anything special. It's just like a piece of a stranded wire. But we'll go ahead and save them. So an aluminum top was just zip tied. Still in good shape. Very cool. Both of these pieces are in perfect shape. So this is a metal antenna and it kind of sticks in there like that. I've never seen this ever in my life. This is a C-clip. These things are very sketchy. They'll disappear when you pop them off. We're just trying to get it free so the wires can come out. Oh God, look what these tires are doing to my table. What the heck? So that's a little interesting. We would detach that, all the suspension is going on one spring right here all moves real good so we're going to try to get this cage off so far no screws stripped so they knew what they were doing nice so this suspension system is cool on it it's using this little like sway bar style and also this spring so it's both of them it's cool i like it and look at that still oiled agrees all that time so this is a really really stiff piece to the adjust point i gotta take this apart see what's inside here so i don't even know if these are oil filled or not hopefully it doesn't spill stuff all over the place oh this is fancy okay it does have oil in it look oh, okay very cool that it still has the oil in there Cause that holiday buggy I built, they didn't grease anything. And if you don't oil these parts, they could possibly shrink up if they have O-rings or harden. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh God. Felton, what are you doing? Look at Felton back there. Is this fun? Yes. This is exciting. You know, we don't need to take all that apart. We just need to clean it so that we can rebuild it. All this still in good shape. I'm just going to leave it alone because I don't know really what's going on. Beautiful. This is fancy right here. I like this stuff. Yeah, that oil smells weird. Here, Felton. Look. Ooh, he wants to eat it. You want to taste it? I wonder how much money I'm going to get for these electronics. They all work. I see the remote selling for $30. So I'm selling all electronics. I was born in 1984, so this is before my time. So I have no desire in any way to try to learn these or mess with them. And I know somebody out there has to want this stuff. There's somebody out there that was around at that time that's saying, no, 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 that's okay. I don't want that stuff back. The only kind of vibe I'm getting off of this older stuff is that you had to be smart. You couldn't be stupid. And then the sad thing is you had to have money, man. You couldn't be broke and do this kind of stuff. I don't even have to look it up. I know this stuff was expensive back then. Oh, okay. It comes off from the bottom. I mean, it was run, but not very much. I mean, look at this. That's all the dirt that's in there. Is this carbon fiber? All right, so this... Oh, God, there's all kinds of stuff in this little box. The motor comes with electronics. Uh, this is a little intimidating. There's a lot of parts in here. The little switch is disconnected. Now we can just get this out. Uh, so the only bad thing, the battery connections are screwed up on them. 
So the older ones use the servo for the speed controller. So you're getting the servos complete with these screws. So I don't know if that came painted or not, but that looks really, really good. Let's get this back suspension off. Uh, I was just randomly just taking screws off. It's trying to come apart. Okay, so we just pull the drive shaft straight out. So remember, this is to me is first four wheel drive buggy or car. See that drive shaft in there, it's pretty thin. One thing I don't like that this person did was they reversed the wheels to give it a wider stance and they damaged these and the gold wheels. Hopefully these tires are not too brittle. I'm gonna have to paint these wheels. I can't put that on there, it looks horrible. I'm gonna put these out in the sun and let them get soft. All this stuff is super cool and these cars came with ball bearings, which is awesome. So yep, it's got the ball bearings in there. They should still be good. Oh man, they did not have grease on them. That's not good. The model came with bearings. Just wipe these down the best you can. That's all you want to do. They're seal bearings, but solvent could probably still get in there. Just roll them. They still feel perfect. Good to go. Sometimes people will grease this part. You don't do that when you use a bearing because you see how there's marks on there like it was spinning a little bit. Do not grease that. Stick it on there. Everything feels perfectly fine. The bearings are still good 100%. Check the play on these parts. Put the pin through there, perfect. Do that to all these pieces right here because if you don't oil them or grease them, it will wear this out. All right, so let me go ahead and get the rest of it apart and then we'll crack open the case. Oh no, fuzzy boys in here. Yeah, they knocked both of those off of the table last night. Look how guilty they look. Motor plate, you need to put that in there because look what it did, it caught all that oil from going inside the motor. That is actually the purpose of the motor plate. We have a 13 tooth pinion. This is the old style 08 modular gear teeth. I don't know exactly what they're measuring. Okay, so this motor, Mabuchi, I don't know, but it's going with the electronics. All right, I thought these would pop out. They don't, they're stuck in there. These little shims. I don't know, but there's four of them in there. They're little metal bar pieces. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, dude. The only thing that's weird is these things are kind of like stuck in there. So these are kind of stuck in there. I'm wondering if that's a snap ring. It is. Come on, differential. Beautiful. Look at all this. Perfect. Is that Molly Lube, like engine assembly grease? I don't know. When you build car engines, that's what you use. So this person used plenty of grease, a little more than I would, but there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, it is. So this was definitely like, not for a little kid to build. It's a little retaining clip. Real cars use that stuff. There we go. Okay, that's what it was, awesome. All right, see, that's what I was talking about. See how he greased the part that goes inside the ball bearing? Don't do that. But everything still spins free. Don't like that. And I swear I, there's a guy out there on YouTube makes videos and he shows people how to build cars and he greases the outside of the bearing and the inside and i commented and i was like dude you can't be showing people that kind of stuff and he deleted my comment and blocked me and look at this little thrust bearing look it has a little thrust bearing in there that is crazy all right extremely extremely happy that all the internals in this gearbox are there and working perfect got more ball bearings because I paid $200 for both of these cars and I had no idea what I was going to get. Oh yeah, this is four wheel drive. So we got the gearbox on the front too. So we pretty much get the idea how it comes apart. We just need to look at that front gearbox and then we'll be done with this video. More C-clips. I hate those little C-clips. I'm scared to pop them off. All right, drive shafts on the front looking good. So let's just take a look at one of the hubs real quick and how this comes apart. This is kind of weird it's like a real car oh see yeah uh, see that's why we're taking this stuff apart look there's the dirt in there doesn't look too bad but this looks like it unscrews hopefully it does okay yep this is super fun messing with this super cool it's gonna be super fun building this all of it looks to be in really good shape 
All right, so let's get this gearbox inspected and then we'll be done with this video. Another ball bearing. All right, so on these RC bearings, you gotta be super careful. That one's stuck on there. If we start prying on there, we can bust the bearing. We can try a little bit. I'm just gonna leave that on there. This looks like a freaking circuit board. There's no way that's a circuit board though. Is that some kind of early carbon fiber or is it fiberglass? I don't know, it's freaking me out. All right, super duper pleased with this. I am so happy that they did this right, took care of it. The other one is cool too, but this is the bad boy. This is the one that you want on your shelf. The super shots, the same chassis, but it's not as cool as this one. This one looks better, the popular one, everybody loves it. All right, so we've seen enough. We don't need to keep going. That's the worst thing that happened to it, but we can spray silver. We have videos coming and doing the body video alone, doing it perfect with the stickers 100%, and then we'll have a video assembling this. So if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.